flying in a helicopter is just like the most cool, fabulous thing you can imagine. <laughs> it was it was really terrific. Getting aerials for a, for a program like this is really to give people a chance to look at California from a different perspective, one that they normally wouldn't have. Over a cinder cone volcano in Lassen Volcanic National Park, two feet off the water, you know, as you're flying along the coast, over the San Andreas Fault down above the Carrizo Plain, and the way the earth folds in this strange and odd way. Those are parts of the landscape that most of us don't get a chance to see, um, especially at low altitude. So helicopters really give you a chance to see it up close and personal, some of those landforms that you would never see otherwise. And they tell a story. They tell a story about how the land formed, what processes are shaping it today, and what our influence has been on it. to a master's program at San Francisco State. I got my master's degree in ecology and systematic biology. And I remember attending this photo essay that was in San Francisco at the time about the natural history of the San Francisco Peninsula. And this gentleman, he had assembled a collection of photographs and presented them in a way to sort of tell the story of the natural history of the San Francisco Peninsula. And I just remember sitting in that audience looking at those photos of San Francisco before it was San Francisco that we know today and the beauty of the natural landscape and how we had utterly transformed it into something completely different. At that moment, you know, I think is where this idea crystallized. If we only really could see what California was before we got here, how it came to be, and how we've transformed it. That's a very important perspective to have because it's all about change. You know? California has changed in the past and it will continue to change in the future. And the way it changes in the future is up to us. <laughs>